Hello everyone! Four part are the focus of this video today. We all have done things before that may have been considered rude, even if it was just an accident. Let's take a look now at some things we can give you a heads up for in China. Avoid these things on your visit or when moving there if you don't want to offend those around you. Some of these may relate to business there and some are probably a little bit more general. So let's have a go. Number one, do not ever leave your chopsticks standing upright in your bowl of rice. Please do not ever do this in China. Now, why may this be, you might ask yourself. Let's think for a moment about some of the Chinese traditions uh, when it comes to the dead here. They often burn incense sticks to honor their ancestors. This is done on a big holiday at temples to remember them. Leaving your chopsticks in the rice upright like this is reminiscent of their honor for the dead, but in a way that can also be seen as very disrespectful. It can also bring about ideas of death, which is very bad luck, especially at the dinner table amongst new friends. Number two now, never give someone a gift that keeps time. Luckily, I haven't been given one. Well, maybe a new iPhone would be okay, but actually that's beside the point here. If the main function of the gift is time, such as a clock or a watch here, then that is bad. Why? Same as before here, clocks and watches signify time in a way, and also that you're running out of it. This is another sort of suggestion over death or things. But hey, if you really want to send a message to your ex, then... Uh, no, actually, no, no, don't send, don't send a watch to your ex, that's even too harsh for them, actually. Okay, number three, avoid these three tea topics in general. Tibet, Taiwan and Tiananmen. Just to give you a quick news flash, Chinese people are very patriotic. They kind of love their country like many people around the world also do. And so therefore they defend its history and territory sternly. This isn't to mean that they don't see any flaws in their country, but regardless they are very loyal to it. And these three topics here have very sensitive layers. Why so then? Well in regards to the first two they are like known to belong to mainlanders. Now in the West, people may have heard differently. Tibet and Taiwan are on the map as independent places. However, this isn't the opinion of the people or Beijing government. They are sure to tell people from these places that they are Chinese citizens, very much not independent. This can also extend to an even more complicated situation in Hong Kong, which we don't have time for today because it doesn't rhyme with the word tea. These countries do have their own governments that make their own policies as well. Tibet government is in exile actually for reasons they claim as safety and Beijing supports a Chinese-backed Tibetan government. Taiwan has a historical mix of Japanese, Chinese and independent routes but this again doesn't seem to be the case in China. For Tiananmen here you may be well maybe you're just better off uh, researching this on your own I guess. Oh I start stumbling on my words already now because I'm a bit nervous even mentioning this. Uh, hopefully they won't take down our channel for just saying it. However what I can do is show you this very famous photo that uh, that I'm sure you might recognize a little bit. Anyways, avoid these taboo actions or topics in general and you'll get on famously in China. Let us know if you have been the victim of any faux pas and what happened if so. See you later guys and thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe. Ta-ta for now!